The person, of course, is uh, Ed Wilson, who's a wonderful uh, biologist. He, he was one of the first uh, encyclopedists of sociobiology. And this other gentleman is Richard Dawkins, who's the, is a professor at Oxford. Uh, and these folk disapprove of any belief that ha can't be proved. I don't know what their reaction to Gödel is, but this is what they believe. And this is called a philosophy called scientific naturalism. It's the idea that science is all there is. If something cannot be proved by the methods of science, it has no meaning. It's a variant of the philosophical position called logical positivism, which claims there are only two kinds of true statements, tautologies like logic and mathematics. We've seen that even mathematics ain't perfect and empirically verifiable claims of science. But I would say it's better called not naturalism, but scientific imperialism. It's imperialistic because it claims there's nothing else but science. This must seem like an extraordinary exaggeration, but I'll show you some quotes that suggest that it is not. Here's a quote from Ed Wilson. If the empiricist worldview is correct, ought is just shorthand for one kind of factual statement. In other words, he's equating ought with is. A factual statement, a word that denotes what society first chose or was coerced, he added, to do and then codified. Ought is the product of a material process. The solution points the way to an objective grasp of the origin of ethics. Now, he's careful to talk about origin. We will make this distinction uh, more explicit in a bit. And there's more. Science is simply taking, this is again Ed Wilson, uh, science is simply taking over the big questions created by philosophy. Philosophy consists largely of the history of failed models of the brain. Thus spake not Zarathustra, but Ed Wilson.